Hello there, it's your girl Daphne back with another video. This is how we left off last week's video. I was so hyped to have received the Toji grids and also the wood. So we're gonna get started this week. Hope you guys are ready. Okay guys, so the planning has begun. So Marino got up early this morning, ready to build the pergola. So he just unboxed all of this and he just laid it out so that he has a good understanding as to what all of these pieces are and how they need to be assembled. So now we're going to move this to outside. So good morning everyone. We're out here on my patio and we just started um, to clear off, well rather Marino started to clear off uh, the patio. We're just going to be removing everything and you can see we got most of it removed. Now we're just moving over to the larger table. We're going to clear this off. Um, we already laid out the grids um, in the basement to just make sure that we had all the pieces and that we knew what we were doing. And so I'm just going to set the camera up and you're going to be able to see um, the process of us building the pergola. Wish us luck. There's tons of pieces. Um, hopefully we're able to figure this out. We watched tons of YouTube videos. Um, so we think that we're confident. At least Marino thinks he's confident um, to be able to do this build. I'm a little you know, iffy, um, just based on the sheer um, scope of the build itself, um, the pieces. Um, I want to just fast forward to the ending of this process. When we have help, we can hoist it up and start enjoying the pergola. But before we can enjoy the finished product, we have to do all of the hard work and that's what we're doing. So. Here we go. This is a bad idea, guys. Don't try this at home. Reno in full effect. Let's stay out of his way, guys, as he problem solves the removal of this puddle of water. Uh-oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. How much water is gonna come out? I'm standing back. Get to the good part. I want them to see water. So if you're moving chairs. Water, 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 water. Let the water come. Let the water come. I want to see how wet he gets. That's what I'm waiting for. Uh-oh. Don't rip my tarp. Whoa. And there she flows. So leave me a comment down below if you're enjoying Marino's hard work. I 
That's a 10 foot? Yeah. Oh my God, it looks humongous. Watch your head. It does. Holy crap. Like for the eights? Nothing. The tens? I feel weak. Wow. Yeah, don't you need like two more after this? Because the middle one and then the side? Is it eight foot? The middle's a ten. That's a ten? Oh, it looks so much smaller. Oh, okay. Awesome. I'm loving this project so far. I'm not doing anything. I'm just standing around. This is more of the merino show, I think. So I do the design and he does the art lifting from labor. Gotta love them, right? I can see the smoke that's surfacing around his head. Let's see if he's able to figure this out. <laughs> I see the smoke burning. You got any thoughts for the people, Marina? Any, any witty remarks for the people that I can document and share with everyone? No? <laughs> Camera down. Camera goes flying. <laughs> We're gonna get uh, drone footage in a minute. <laughs> Arena, Arena, come on, I gotta share this with the people. With my family. Everyone is anticipating this build. Do you understand how excited we all are for this build? Seriously, put that away. All right, I'm gonna put you on the iPod. <laughs> <before>. <laughs>did realize today is that the 10 foot 4x4s are much thicker than the 8 foot 10 4x4s. So we were able to get the 8 foot post in with no problem with minimal like banging or um, maneuvering but the 10 foot are much thicker so we're going to have to do a little planing on those post uh, before we're able to proceed so it's looking like this is as far as we're going to get for today so this is definitely going to be a this is definitely going to be a to be continued until um, next time um, we're going to be doing some research to just figure out what the best option is for us yeah, okay guys being that it's damp and we're working with wood we're gonna stop trying to put a round peg in a square hole. We're gonna wait, we're gonna let the wood dry out, and then we're gonna continue the build. So, even though we wanted to complete at least the preliminary part today, we're gonna be smart about it, and we're gonna do this on another day. So, we'll be back. So guys, just because we're not able to complete the patio this week doesn't mean that we're not going to have fun in the garden. So we're just going to move on over to doing a little cleanup. Um, we're going to be cleaning these two beds that are absolutely um, piled up with a lot of falling debris, pine cones, pine straw, leaves, everything that fell from the trees that are above. Um, 
My property is flanked by large trees of different assortments, evergreens, and also I think there's a maple tree up there as well. And as you know, in the fall, they start shedding, you know, their pine cones, their pine straw, their leaves, and then it just collects down here below. So this year I did a little better job with getting all of that off of the actual lawn, but I didn't clean these beds, so that's what I'm doing now. I have to say whenever I'm working out here in the garden and I'm collecting debris I am always surprised at how much debris is actually down and that I'm collecting now after I get all of this together I'm going to be um, heading over to our organic yard where we're able to dump all of this uh, yard waste so that it can you know be recycled um, so that's what I'm going to be doing after I finish all of this So if you've been around for a while, um, you'll remember I've done several videos um, where I cut back this grass and also the hydrangea which is next to it. This is a little um, bed that's directly next to the patio that I try to make sure you know I put nice annual uh, flowers and make it look nice. This grass that I planted here um, several years ago, I'm definitely going to have to divide it and either really like divide it down so that maybe it's a quarter of the size or I'm just going to remove it all together because I think it's too close to the hydrangea but that will be something that you know I'll be able to do um, in the next couple of weeks but this is how I was able to clean it up I still have to cut back all of these dusty millers that I added there So I'm sure there's no surprise that I painted my back door black as well. So one of the larger projects that I do every spring is power wash the patio. And when I say this, the past two you know, years I've been doing it. Um, so this year I decided that I wanted to make my job a little easier. So I got one of these surface uh, cleaners. This cleaner is amazing. I was able to cut down my cleaning time by so much. I, I didn't, you know, equate like what the savings was in time, but I'm telling you it's a fraction of the time. And also I didn't get as dirty as I would have previously. 
so here I am I'm just unboxing it I'm taking a look at the um, instructions um, it's always tricky for me to be able to put these attachments on I don't know why my brain you know doesn't connect um, quick enough to be able to figure it out but eventually I did get it to stick now one of the things that I'm that um, I really liked about this is that by using the pressure wand everything that's down on the patio splashes up like whatever dirt um, mud anything that's down there is going to splash up so that's why I usually I use my um, rain boots this time I used a scrubber and nothing splashed up on me like it was absolutely amazing so if you guys plan on doing any pressure washing I definitely would get one of these surface um, cleaners I picked this up at um, Lowe's and I think it was $29 so it was definitely a great investment So halfway through this project, I realized that I hadn't diluted the uh, cleaning solution. So that's why it's extra sudsy at this point. I'm telling you like I'm editing this video now and just watching the pressure washer just glide across the paver and seeing all the bubbles it is so mesmerizing
of course the first sprayer that I tried to use was broken so I'm gonna have to get another one of those and I'm pretty bummed out about it because that is my um, uh, sprayer that I usually attach my miracle Grow liquid feed to so I'm gonna have to get another one of those because I definitely do use that um, on the landscape um, so right now I switched over the hose um, the sprayer head and now I'm just getting off all of like the dirt um, that had accumulated um, when you do the scrubbing. So you're able to loosen up all of the dirt, but it still is on top of the pavers. So you just have to go back with a little clean water. And then I'm using um, this broom to just sweep off the excess water. And then I'm gonna show you how the uh, patio turned out. So now that we're nice and clean, we are going to be starting uh, the pergola, hopefully this weekend coming. And it'll be coming and you guys will be able to see that we're able to complete the pergola bill. But in the meantime, we don't wanna waste any time. So we're moving on to another project, which is building the shed. And this is gonna free up so much space in my garage so that I'll be able to share part two of the garage makeover. And I just wanna thank you guys so much for coming back each week and supporting me. I really do appreciate each and every time that you click on a video. I wanna welcome anyone that's new that clicked on my video for the first time today. I hope that you enjoyed this video enough to hit the subscribe button and continue on with my journey. Until the next time, have a blessed day.